Hey guys, Mangrel here. We just received our frame for our new sub 250 gram build, and this is the Lumineer QAVS Mini. And this frame is so new that you can't even find this frame on the Lumineer website. The frame comes packaged in this uh, plastic bag here. It's very similar to the packaging that you get with the Amagrip, and it's resealable, so it keeps the freshness inside. All right, let's open it up. Okay, so that's what we have here. So we have these itsy bitsy tiny arms. That's beautiful. Okay, next we've got standoffs and the antenna mount. Actually, this is really nice. You see how they label these? They say M2 by 20. So actually they've done a really good job of labeling what these screws are. So far, very impressive. This is my first uh, Lumineer frame. Primarily been flying the uh, iFlight. So I really like this. I mean, that sounds high quality. Well, look at that. It's got a tiny manual. Okay, so we gotta grab our microfire. Mic microfire? <laughs> we gotta grab our magnifier, not our microfire. <laughs> All right, make sure you grab your magnifier. That's neat, I like that. Okay, we have our battery pad. It's actually not bad, it's a little bit sticky. Not as good as the Alma Grip, link in the video description. But this is uh, pretty good. Wait, even more, even more screws. Okay, so let's put that there. More screws. Hey, this one's not labeled. How come this one's not labeled? Bad Lumineer. All right, and then we have some really tiny carbon pieces, probably camera mounts. I don't know what those are. All right. Probably brace of some kind, maybe bottom plate brace. Top plate. Have no idea. Bottom plate. All right, so here are all the parts laid out. We have all of these screws over here. We have the arms, associated hardware. Yeah, that looks uh, very, very well put together and thought out. Okay, let's start building and see what happens. All right, so now that we're all set up, let's grab our tiny manual. And it says, step one, we take this guy And the arms, okay? So we take this. And then we take these little things and put they go inside here. Oh, this is a very strange design. Okay, then we take this. I think this goes underneath. Oh, okay, I think I understand. Then this is a sandwich plate. So this goes over here. Like that. Yeah, this manual sucks. Okay, it's starting to make sense. This is the bottom plate. So we're putting these four screws. These are the three by 12, putting these in these big holes. And 
And then now we put the arms. And they kind of fit together. Okay. Then this thing goes in the middle. Then this guy is the back half. Which then locks the arms in place. And then to make things more interesting, we have two different sizes of standoffs. Then we take our bigger standoffs, and these are the M3 standoffs. We screw them in here. Okay. Looks, that looks pretty decent. And then now we put these little tiny pieces, and these little tiny pieces go inside here, and they're supposed to lock the arms in the proper place. We put these pieces in here, and then there's a small screw hole, which my guess, hmm. This is great because they, they label everything, but they don't tell you what's, what goes where. So we need two pieces, maybe these ones, M2 by five. Mm, nope, definitely not, they're too short. I think it's the M2 by 8. Yeah, that looks like it's pretty good. Yep, so it just barely comes out the top. Okay, let's put the other one in as well. And like I said, I'm not tightening any screws, I'm not putting any Loctite yet. I just want to get this together and make sure we're doing it right. And then there's one more over here. I'm guessing that's probably also going to be... Hmm. I think it's probably going to be a smaller one. Okay, let's go with a maybe two by six for that one. Nope, too big. Let's go by five. Yeah, that's good. So this one was the M two by five. This one was the M two by 10. N. Yeah, so we can see they're not coming through here. That's good. All right, what's next? So now we have to put these standoffs in. And of course, they're all different sizes. My guess is bigger ones or taller ones at the front. Let's grab the larger standoff or the taller standoff for the front. And then we'll put the shorter ones at the back. Okay, so it's starting to look kind of like a quad now. And then these are our camera mounts. Okay, how do they go? All right, you know what? I'm gonna look at pictures. Okay, so the triangle piece is at the bottom. So triangle piece at the bottom. Triangle piece at the bottom, this points backwards. Okay.
Yeah, so I can't figure out what this is. We'll leave this piece out for now. Let's put our top plate. We'll line up the camera mount. And then we'll continue using the two by eight. And what I suspect is we'll have to come back and maybe change some of these screws based off of what screw size we need for our motors. That's probably why we have so many different sizes here. And then we'll use the three by six for these guys here. Now we're gonna pick our stack height and for now we'll go with the 14, let's try the 14. Now the 14 is I think for a single height. Oh, we need the 20. Okay, so there we have our, our stack screws and they're slotted so we can move it back and forth. Yeah, so we'll, we'll adjust that when we're doing our electronics. All right, so we got it put together. It was definitely more complicated than I expected, especially given these, I guess, instructions, if you can call it that. But we got it put together, so make sure to stay tuned for our second part, where we will get the electronics put in and hopefully take it for a quick flight. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, 